just as with Windows 8.1, Windows 10 comes with Computer Management Console that allows you to work with partitions, among other things. In this video, you'll learn how to create, extend, delete, shrink. You'll just learn everything there is to know about working with partitions on your computer. So to get started, let's right-click the Start menu, although there are other ways to get here. Click Computer Management. The Computer Management Console opens. Go ahead and maximize that. If you need to pull this out to get a little room, go ahead and do so. Click Disk Management under Storage. I've done a little work here already, but what you're going to see when you open it is going to look something like this. These new uh, computers with Windows 10 come with all sorts of little partitions that are recovery partitions. Um, you may have already created some partitions. I have had Windows 10 technical preview installed, so I've got a couple partitions already. I went ahead and left this part unallocated so I could show you a little bit about working with partitions. This is a volume C that I've created. This is where my Windows OS is, but I'm going to um, right click this to show you some of the options. Because I have empty space here to the right of it, I can right click this volume and I can opt to extend the volume. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Little extend volume wizard comes up, so I'll click next. You can make changes to this, but I'm just going to take the maximum available space. This is all the space to the right, and I'm going to click Next and Finish. I'm going to give it a little minute. And you can see now this new volume has sort of, uh, you know, sucked up, if it were, the volume to the right of it. Let's go ahead and create um, a, that partition again. We're going to right-click this volume, and we're going to shrink it. Again, I'll take the defaults, although you could put your own uh, amount in here if you want. I'll click Shrink. What I get when I do that is some empty space again, just like you saw when we first uh, started. This is unallocated. There's nothing associated with it. You can't work with this yet. You can't even save data to it. It doesn't know what it is. So let's right-click. And in order to be able to work with this, we'll create a new simple volume. Notice I can assign any drive letter I want. I'm going to put Z. I can format it in TFS, of course. I can opt not to format it, but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick format. I'll click Next. Finish. This is going to format for a little while. Once it finishes, I'm going to have a new partition. Notice now. When I click this PC, I now have the volume C that I started with. I have my Windows 8 OS D. I've got a little recovery area here, and now I've got this new volume Z. Interestingly, I can now say, let's pull this picture over here. Let's put it over our, onto our new volume Z. That's fine. This is just a simple partition like we used to do you know, in the old days where we'd say, let's create some partitions and let's keep all our music on one and let's keep all our pictures on one. We don't do that for that reason anymore. But we could also do other things here. We could take this volume and we could actually install an operating system on it. So many, many ways you can work with partitions by right clicking and choosing the uh, properties tab. You can look at the unused space. You can check for drive system errors. Look at the information about the hardware you can share. Customize. Because it's a volume, you can work with quotas. And you can set security. If I decide I don't want this new volume, I can right click it and I can delete the volume. This is going to erase everything on it. It says it's currently in use, but we uh, just clicked away from that. Again, I have an allocated. If I want to go ahead and extend this volume to make use of that unallocated space again, I certainly can, just as we did in the beginning. And I'm back to where I started, sort of, <laughs> with a bigger partition.